Hey guys, Adam Hart here. If you use your broom when high up, you'll take fall damage when you land, even if it's a small jump off your broom. To prevent this, exit your broom by grappling onto something or pressing circle to exit, then use the paraglider. You can negate all fall damage if you land on the roof of a car, a pad with an X on it, or trash bags, or even an air kick. You can do a slow motion shot, air kick, and ground slam all in one jump. Double tap L2 with the grapple once you have it upgraded so you can quickly pull yourself to the other end of the grapple instead of swinging. You can smash through lockpick doors with R2 while running. Fastest way to level up is to jump back and forth with the far jump skill as you kill zombies during a night chase, which will increase both parkour and combat XP. Fastest way to get infected trophies, and specifically combat XP, is to run circles and kill volatiles and other zombies during a night chase near a safe zone which has a UV light. To get even more XP, change the difficulty mode to hard. To get more loot, change to easy mode. Fastest way to get money is to duplicate crystals. I'd upgrade these first, medicine, paraglider, and grapple hook. Use the bed twice to refill items at the trader and craft master to the maximum. This is a fast way to get lots of scrap, which is used to craft many useful items. Crossbow is the best weapon in the game. You'll get this as your fourth reward on the peacekeeper side if you choose them during a city alignment. I'd recommend going to this fourth reward for the crossbow and then choosing survivor for the rest of your rewards for better mobility. The crossbow will be sheathed when you start running or do parkour. You won't be able to reload, but if you press R3 as if you were aiming down sight, which you can do with the crossbow by the way. You'll bring up your crossbow and now you can press square to reload. If your UV bar is somewhere in your weapon wheel, press L2 when a barter grabs you to activate the UV bar animation. You can double jump anywhere by spamming the crouch button and press jump. A fast way to move around is to double tap the grapple hook to get off the ground, open up your paraglider, and then use the boost once you have it upgraded. You can pull enemies toward you by pressing L2. The best way to kill volatiles with the strongest weapon in the game, the crossbow, and by using your UV bars, UV light, toughness, and regeneration boosters, all while being near a safe zone which also contains a UV light. Technically, the doom shotgun is better, but you can't bring it outside the challenge anymore. If you use a toughness and regeneration booster, at the same time, you'll take less damage and constantly regenerate health. You can upgrade these at a Craftmaster. During the story, the biggest choice that will affect your game is what you do in the Now and Ever mission when you face the Colonel. You'll drain the Sunken City if you side against the Colonel. You won't drain the Sunken City if you side with the Colonel. Kicken breaks blocks. Upgrading throwing knives is useful because it stuns volatiles, kills bolters in one to two hits. Using the quick turn skill, you can then dodge backwards to dash behind enemies. What do I upgrade most? Health or stamina? Upgrade your stamina because most of the time that's what's going to limit you. For instance, having to take breaks from using your paraglider or from being able to attack because of limited stamina. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe for more.